I've been living in this area for 50 years. This community, sporting activities in this community. It was a good community. It was a very good community. It needs to come back to that stage because it has gone, as we know, well, some people might say beyond repair, but it's not really beyond repair. The past 30 years, we had activities, yes, but they come and they go. They come for a short period and they go. And if you look at the area right now, nothing to do, no activities, no sport, and nobody does nothing. When I was younger, right, we used to play like cashew fight, pelipan, climb a tree, pick a mango. Now we don't have them things now. Like the youths now need to see that we are in a little sport, a little activity. No? My name is Sheldon Bokuri. As a member of FC Bus Santa Football Club. But right now we're trying to rejuvenate everything again, bring back all the youths and them to start to play the sports, you know what I mean? Get involved, come off of the crime scene, right? And we're so privileged, we are one of the best field in the whole of Trinidad and Tobago. You understand? Monks and many grounds, right? The Monash established this field for the community, the villagers, to enjoy themselves, to come out, recreate themselves as well as that, right? We have the older folks, we have the young folks, we have the youths, you understand? And that is a good establishment, you understand? So we just come together, bring back a team and kind of bring back a love in the village, you know? Because that's what it's about. It's just about love and bring back everybody together, you know? Well, right now we're really trying to bring back the community with football and other different activities. Not for only the adults, but for the younger ones and them. My name is Ishmael Atli, I'm a member of Basanta Sports Club. I am a young person, you know, still going to school and I'm really thankful to see what ahead for the youths, you know. There is something nice so every evening, you could go in the savannah and play football, you know, occupy yourself now, from getting yourself in trouble, you know. My name is Terrell Job, I am from Santa Chase in General St. Augustine. As a youth growing up in community, I always like football, so you know I always spend my time in Savannah on evenings. So I'm glad to see our country coming out and doing something good for the youths, especially me because I like football and things. My name is Yamel and I like I like football because of the excitement and you can get you can get fit. So when you go out to be on a and they got feel they could run faster. And Things like what Mr. Toole is doing, these are things in the right direction to help accomplishing and bringing it back. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out this evening. It was a good competition. Yeah. 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 I think it's a proper and a good, and I mean to say it will change the value of people's mind today. You understand? It really don't have nothing ready for the youths in the community and stuff and I think this is a look into a bright future. This football thing we're hoping that they come out to play the late football so they will not be on the streets to go the wrong way. We had to get thanks to um, the Abata Monk Semenek, John Pereira, because he gave me full support, you know what I mean? Because it's a community-based organization as well as that is a non-profitable organization. Everyone ought to try and give a hundred percent to this. We can't do it alone. We could come together and make things happen where football and sports is concerned. We also have to thank the fathers at Mount St. Benedict. Without them, we'll have no use of that going out here. My name is John Pereira. I have been abbot of this monastery of Mount St. Benedict, elected in 2003. So I'm now into my 12th year as abbot of Mount St. Benedict. I welcome this move by Kern Terould and his team, Basanta FC, to establish themselves on the field of the monastery to help build community in the area of Basanta and St. John. For several years, the community has been the bane of crime and with the increasing level I think it is appropriate that we do something to target the young ones to give them another option, another way of establishing themselves in society. And it seems as if sport 
is one of the ideal ways in which we can speak to the minds and the hearts of the young. It's a way of channeling their energies and allowing them to spend time more productively than just lying on the block and opening themselves to the possibility of drugs and violence. Sport has been an essential way of dealing with the young people. In our own tradition, we have Dom Basil Matthews, who as principal of St. Benedict's College in Laramine, established one of the greatest Benedictine football teams among the college's league. And in the 70s, when we were playing Haiti for the World Cup, seven of the national players were taken from the College of St. Benedict. Don Basil Matthews had used sport as a means of giving the young people a sense of self-worth and self-esteem in an area that was considered behind God's back. I think it is parallel to what is happening here now, just below the monastery in St. John's, and we welcome that. We give them an appreciation to know that in the whole realm of the darkness that seeks to envelop the nation, there is one glimmer of light. And that glimmer of light, that ray of hope, is precisely in this village of St. John. So I really want to thank those who are making a special effort. We have Frank Casabon in the Santos team. We have Kern Terul with his Basanta FC. And more and more, we will get more and more young people involved. Remember, we have to take care of the youths. It's only from the youths that we could build something. The youths are the future, and they are who we have to concentrate on to bring and carry on this project what we have.